morning, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not there today. I woke up in the middle of the night with the flu. It's about, uh, all right, now it's five in the morning. And I just wanted to clarify for you what it is you're going to be doing today. And so I'm going to be uh, sharing my screen with you and showing you some the things that we're doing. So first of all, I want to remind you uh, that your lesson is in Schoology. And the first thing you're doing is you're going to finish the document from yesterday. So just a reminder, it's the last two or three sections. If you scroll down, you'll see it here. One, two, three uh, here. And then a quick summary. Okay. So I would say it should take about 10 minutes to do that. And then um, when uh, and then when you're finished, you should move on to the next thing. And I'm about to show you that now. And just a reminder that the resources for the six elements, the five themes, are found in the reading, which was right up here. Right up here. And if you click on it, uh, it will open up. I won't open it all the way. But if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see the six elements and the five themes. Okay, so that is the uh, um, first thing that you're going to be doing. Uh, next, um, uh, you're going to do the assignment for today, and I want to share that uh, assignment with you as well. The first thing is there's a slideshow called the um, Five Themes of Geography that I'm going to share with you. You just recorded those, and so um, I'm going to put that up on the screen here. And... Let's see, we want to go backwards. Sorry. Um, so the five themes of geography are, um, the first one is location. And remember that everything on Earth has its own location, the place where it can be found. And so this is the location of Stillwater Middle School. Second, um, there's place. And place, the two types of, types of place, physical and human characteristics or features, to make it different from all other places. Physical features, basically think about them form my nature. Human features are created by people. So this is my place. This is my house. You can see the trees around it have been uh, put there by nature. But the house and the car, um, they were put there by humans. And so I modified my place in order so that we could live there. The next one are regions. We've talked about regions. Um, uh, and you just uh, finished an assignment about regions. Um, but a region can have physical or human features. And so here's a place uh, or a region where in Minnesota, North and South Dakota, Iowa, um, Wisconsin, where uh, there's similar land features and also many similar human cultural traits. So that area is almost, almost is often lumped together and called the Midwest. And then each day uh, there's movement. Each day, you know, that's where people from different parts of the world um, move and exchange products or ideas. And um, so this is a picture of the global uh, transport shipping lanes. And you can see how busy they are. We don't realize every day how much is being sent around the world at any given time. Um, but the other thing that can be um, more than ever that can be sent around the world are ideas and people because of the you know modern technology. Um, and that's called globalization. And we'll be talking more about that in an upcoming lesson. And then there's human environment interaction where people adopt or adjust to their surroundings. So for example, in Myanmar, how have people adapted to their surroundings here? Clearly they've built their houses on stilts because they live in an area in an area with lots of water. Okay, 
So um, I need to stop presenting. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to create your own slideshow um, uh, about regions. Remember, there's three kinds, formal, functional, and uh, um, perceptual. And so I'm going to show you, if you go to um, today's agenda, there are two things there. There's a slideshow that I just showed you about the five things, Jaffrey, geography, and then there's your regions slideshow template. And this is what you're going to use um, to make your own personal regions slideshow. And so um, it's very important that you use this template because for two reasons. One, you can submit it because it's been given as assignment, and then it stays with this class and doesn't get lost. And two, it's a template, so parts of it have already been done for you. And so when you open it up, it looks like this. And you can see um, there's a total of five slides. So the um, if, if it's something is written in black, that stays. It's been done for you. If it's in red or blue, it's telling you to do something. So on the very first slide, all you need to do is eliminate the red and put in your first and last name. On the next slide, you're to find a picture of a formal region and put it here on the left. And then you're to write a description of that picture and why it represents a formal region on the right. Okay, you can do that three times. You can do it once for formal, you can do it once for functional, and you can do it once for perceptual. And then the last slide is you're going to um, write down directions from your house to school. Now, I don't want you to panic about this for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not personally checking to show that you have done it exactly right, okay? And the second thing is, this is how you perceive it. So you're really not using street, street signs, you're just using um, uh, you know, landmarks and things like that. So I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how to get from my house, um, what I would put down. Um, so if I left my house, I'd back out of the driveway, head south to the corner, turn left, and I would follow that road as it winds down to St. Croix Trail North, where I would turn right. And then I would travel on that road for about 10 miles until it comes into downtown Stillwater. Once I get to downtown Stillwater, I would go to the second stoplight and turn right and head up the hill till I come to a T in the road. And I would turn left and continue to go up the hill. And I would go past the old county courthouse and the uh, St. Mike's Catholic Church. The courthouse is on your right. The Catholic Church is on your left. Go past those for about two blocks until you come to a four-way stop. At the four-way stop, turn right. Go one block to another four-way stop. Continue straight until you come about, and then you go about six blocks to the next four-way stop where you'd turn left. And then after you turned left, you would go straight ahead and you'll um, come right to the school. So it's that simple. And you notice it's how I perceive it. So your directions are about how you perceive it, okay? If you walk or ride the bus or get a ride, whatever it is, um, you're just simply sharing how you do it. Okay. That is the um, uh, uh, assignment for the day. And so now I want you to get to work. Um, and when you're finished with it, uh, you're, you're, the two assignments, the one we finished from yesterday and the other assignment that you just did, you can hit submit on both of those. Okay. I'm sorry I'm not there, but I hope you have a good weekend.